Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your five and five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. Lawmakers are considering a bill that would create a first time home buyer's savings account. It would allow people a tax exempt way to set aside money to be used for a down payment. Representative Tom Del Nicky raised the bill as the ranking member of the banking committee. He says the goal is to help people stay in Connecticut and settle in Connecticut. Home ownership is the American dream. And we need to do whatever we can to make it possible for more and more first time home buyers. Because once you get someone in a home, they want to stay there. Legislators proposed a similar bill last year, but it did not move forward. Delnicki says they made some adjustments to this year's version with the hope that it will gain more support. The conversation about tolls coming to Connecticut's highways is over, at least for this legislative session. Governor Ned Lamont announced he's given up on his trucks only toll plan after Democratic leaders in the House and Senate failed to call a vote on the measure. Lamont now plans to borrow money to fund the transportation improvements he had hoped to pay for with revenue from tolls. CTR conducted a survey of members earlier this year about transportation infrastructure and issues. Transportation is one of the factors that can influence a person's home buying decision. Charitable efforts play a large role in the history of realtors. Community involvement and response to disasters or tragedy have always been a part of the industry. That involvement took on a formal capacity for CTR in February of 2009 with the creation of the Connecticut Realtors Foundation. CT Realtors Care is a designated nonprofit which can accept tax deductible donations and respond quickly to community needs. Its mission is to be good neighbors to our members, our communities, and the world. It's all because we care. It's all because we're realtors and we care about what happens in our communities and we care what happens to fellow realtors in, in other areas. So I, I think that's the whole concept. I think that's what we believe in. And I think it's, it's certainly spread out, continues to grow, continues to get more and more people involved. And thankfully, they, they are involved. The foundation holds several annual donation drives to collect items for homeless shelters, animal shelters, and the Be Homeful for the Holidays campaign. It also offers local and worldwide assistance in response to natural disasters. The foundation also oversees the Gates Memorial Scholarship Fund, which has provided nearly a million dollars in scholarships to college students in the past 43 years. That is our centennial look back, CT Realtors, making the American dream a reality for 100 years. NAR is now accepting applications for its annual Good Neighbor Awards. The awards recognize realtors who make an impact through volunteer service. Five winners each receive a $10,000 grant for their selected nonprofit organization. Five honorable mention winners each receive $2,500 grants. The deadline to submit for a Good Neighbor Award is May 8th. Get more information and the online nomination form at nar.realtor slash GNA. NAR has recognized more than 200 realtors with Good Neighbor Awards since the program started in 2000. It's donated more than $1.3 million to nonprofits across the country. Several areas in Connecticut made the list of the easiest places to find a home when it comes to inventory. Realtor.com analyzed housing markets across the country and ranked areas based on the number of listings per 1,000 households. The Bridgeport, Stamford, Norwalk area ranked as the fourth easiest market to find a home with nearly 30 listings per 1,000 households. The Greater Hartford area ranked 16th and the New Haven Milford area came in 17th. Each has about 17 listings per 1,000 households. Realtor.com says the inventory in those areas is higher due to lower demand caused by the state's economy and higher taxes. On the other end of the spectrum, inventory is very low in San Jose, San Francisco, and Buffalo, which ranked as the three toughest housing markets in the country. Check out the analysis at ctrealtors.com slash trends. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.